Right. Okay. So um, thank you very much for agreeing to, to video this. And um, what we're going to be looking at today is um, a test which has been around for a little while, but it hasn't really been pushed as being significant. Um, and I think that's going to be changing uh, very soon. Um, and this is a test called NeuroPad, and it's for people who have diabetes, and it tests for the pseudomotor function. That's the medical term. Um, in layman's terms, that is really whether or not your nerves have been affected to control the sweat glands, um, and this thing will pick up on how much they've been affected. It's a little pad we're going to put on each foot, and it changes colour um, if there is the presence of moisture there. And if there isn't the presence of moisture, then it won't change colour. And therefore, if it hasn't changed colour, we know the sweat glands aren't working quite so well. We know the nerves are, have been affected as well. Uh, and the likelihood is that that will be affected by the, the diabetes. Um, and those nerves get affected prior to any of the other nerves, which we often do test for. So earlier on, we tested for um, a monofilament test. We tested for a neuro tip with a little sharp pointed bit here. We tested with vibration um, and also temperature. And all of those nerve endings get affected by diabetes, but the ones that we're going to be testing now get affected first of all. So in effect, we could have all positive responses to those other tests, and actually this test could show up that there are some early changes. So without further ado, let me just tear open this packet here. Now this is actually really good, because this is a test that people could do at home as well. Um, you can actually purchase these and, and do them at home. So there's one for each foot. And what I need to do is obviously make sure it is blue. It needs to stay blue, hopefully. If I was to be holding this with my hand, it would, the sweat on my hand, uh, I do have sweaty hands, uh, would make that start going pink straight away. So, got that. We're going to just put it onto the foot here. You're not allergic to plasters or anything, are you? <laughs> he says. So it's all sealed in there, so any moisture, any place that moisture is going to come from is from your skin. And we'll see how that goes. Where's the other one gone? Yeah. And this has to stay on for 10 minutes actually, so we see what happens over the course of 10 minutes. Ideally you don't put them on just when you've just had a shower or a bath or just mm -hmm. been for a run or something. Um, so are you pointing, you can see the mm -hmm. picture there? Okay, so we're going to leave those there and we will come back in about 10 minutes or so. Okay, so uh, it's now been 10 minutes since we put these patches on and you can see that particularly this one is still very blue. Uh, this one over here has gone a little bit more pink but it's very much um, more blue than pink um, which suggests that there is some uh, pseudomotor dysfunction there, that the, the sweat glands aren't working as well as they should do, uh, which in turn means that there is um, early stages of neuropathy. Now, in this lady, we already knew that anyway from some of the other tests, that there was some, some loss of sensation, um, but this is just confirming it and just showing you how to, how to use these patches. Um, and the benefit of them has been a very, very early way of screening um, for diabetic peripheral neuropathy. So thank you very much and uh, do see our uh, website at undefeated.org uh, for other information on tests that you can have done um, and what the results can mean for you. Thank you.